the numbers of rhino being poached, they're increasing. We're losing these animals at a rate that should be alarming for all of us. Vietnam is an important user country of rhino horn. So the significance of demand reduction and education in countries like Vietnam is the most important thing that we do. The catchphrase of the campaign is Vietnam be my hero, working with Vietnam to help us save our wildlife. The Wild Rhino Competition is one of the components of our demand reduction campaign in Vietnam. And it's been amazing to find these passionate youth ambassadors who really believe in the future of the rhino. When I heard about this competition, I thought that this is a perfect chance for me to learn something firsthand and to be able to bring that knowledge back to everyone and tell everyone how bad the problem has gotten and what can we do. I think this trail can help me um, make a difference and possibly make a better world for the rhinos. On our second day, we got to see three rhinos. Seriously, they were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And at that moment, I looked into their eyes and I just feel so connected to them. When I've been to the trail, I truly feel like I've been connected to the earth, which we shared with all these animals. place now more than ever it's clear to me that we should definitely protect this this place has definitely given me a feel for the five for rhino horns especially because this is our last day and we have only seen probably six rhinos in totals and that's for me is not something um, that, I, that I was expecting. I was expecting to see more than that. So we're experiencing the consequence of human greed for first-handedly. All of these are orphans. Most of them are orphans from poaching. Okay, and the chances of them surviving is quite slim. When we finished the trail, it was... Wow, <laughs> even just to see this. Rhinos are living things. They also have feelings, they have a family like us too. Even though their parents were killed, when we put our hands in that, they still come to us. I do hope that we'll be able to make a difference for them and they'll be able to live in a better world. And then we work with them in a day-long workshop Give them all the information they need. Presentations by experts, vets, wildlife crime experts. We try and get the creative side going so that they can come up with ideas and what we do with them back in Vietnam. Just trying to get that message through. We have to fix the mess that the previous generation have left behind and if we don't do anything then um, what kind of future will we be living in? It's more now than ever that we need attention to this place. To inspire other generations to 
become better people ourselves and maybe to make the world a better place. Maybe that's too ambitious. <laughs> they must inspire. They must lead the way. They must show people and, and, and teach people about these animals. We believe that the impact will be felt in, in years to come. Not only us, but I feel like everyone should be care about this crisis as a whole. Vietnam, be my hero. Be my hero. Be my hero. Vietnam, be my hero. <laughs>